Discover. Go Recover. The word is gone forth. It is time to go forward. Double doors of opportunities will open as we advance to take new territories for the Lord. There will be a new passion for God and His dealings as we press deeper into Him. There will be productivity in every area of our lives, in businesses, in innovation, and in ministry. We will progress as we engage our communities and our world with the power and love of God. Families will not be left behind as we build legacies for the future. It is time to move. It is time for opportunities. It is time to do great things. Welcome, welcome, welcome to church tonight. I believe that God is putting us together for something awesome. I believe that God, through his word, will speak to us as we pray together. There's something special about tonight. Tonight you have the opportunity to send in your prayer um, requests and your prayer points. We want to pray together. I want to involve you totally. And so you can write down your prayer, send in your prayer, uh, so that when we start praying, we can add you to our prayer. You don't need to add names when there's a request. Just believe that once you have sent it in, the God of the heavens, as the church prays together, will hear this prayer. Maybe you have a friend who has a prayer request. They can also send it in. So tonight, just reach out to somebody and say, it's time for prayer. It's prayer night. I believe God will bless you. God will touch you. And he's about to do something awesome. Tonight, I'll speak to you shortly before we pray. God is our refuge. I started this morning online um, about God being our refuge. We're going to stay on Psalm 46. But church is no church if we cannot sing. So we're going to just sing one song to glorify God. I want you to join hands with me. You can take a selfie and show it as you are dancing and singing the song. It's been a long time since I saw some of you. It will be amazing to see you in church one more time. Yes, church together from afar, you know, worshiping with your families and friends. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hands up. Hearts open wide as the sky. We lift you high. Sing with me. We lift you high. Hands up. Hearts open wide as we cry. God will lift your name high. Let's sing it again. Hands up. Hearts open wide as the sky. We lift you high, we lift you high, hands up, hearts open wide as we cry. God, we lift your name high. Let's do it again. Hands up, hearts open wide as the sky. We lift you high. We lift you high, hands up, hearts open wide as we cry. God, we lift your name high. Let all the other names fade away. You remember that song? Come on, let's sing it. Let all the other names fade away. Till there's only you. Let all the other names fade away. Sing it like you mean it. Let all the other names fade away. Till there's only you. Till there's only you. Let's take it again. Let all the other names. Let all the other names fade away. Let every name fade away. Let all the other names fade away. Oh, let all the other names fade away. 
Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. And Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. And Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. Let all the other names fade away. Oh, let all the other names fade away. Unto this only, let all the other names fade away. Sing it, sing it, sing it, sing it. Let all the other names fade away. Let it fade away. Let all the other names fade away. Until the soul leave you, let all the other names fade away. Let it fade away, Lord. Let all the other names fade away. Until the soul leave you, let all the other names fade away. Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. Let all the other names fade away. Let him fade, let him fade, let him fade. Let all the other names fade away. Until there's only you, let all the other names fade away. But Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. And Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. Hands up, hearts open wide as the sky. We lift you high. We lift you high. Hands up, our hearts open wide as we cry. God, we lift your name high. Our hands are hearts open wide as the sky. We lift you high. We lift you high. Hands are hearts open wide as we cry. God, we lift your name high. Our hearts open wide as the sky. We lift you high. We lift you high. Hands up, hearts open wide as we cry. God, we lift your name high. Let all the other names fade away. Let all the other names fade away Until the soul leave you Let all the other names fade away Let all the other names fade away Until the soul leave you Let all the other names fade away Let all the other names fade away until there's only you, until there's only you, all the other names fade away. Let all the other names fade away. Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place, and Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. My prayer tonight is that Jesus will take preeminence in your situation. As we cry unto him, the God of our salvation, Salvation comes to the people of God. Hear ye all the voice of the Lord. For salvation is in God. 
Salvation is in the hands of God. We give you praise tonight. Sanctify us, O God, by your word. For your word is truth. Amen. Amen. If you just join us, we've been singing a wonderful song for Jesus to take his place in our lives. And if you were here earlier, I told you we're going to read Psalm 43. Today at morning prayers, that's what I read. And I believe strongly God is going to minister to us. As I promised you earlier that that is what we are going to do. Psalm 46, I'll read from the New King James Version. Psalm 46. God is our refuge and strength. A very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear. Even though the earth is removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though its waters roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with its swelling, cellar, there is a river whose stream shall make glad the city of God the holy place of the tabernacle of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved, for God shall help her just at the break of dawn. The nations raged. The kingdoms were moved. He uttered his voice. The earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us. Verse 7. The God of Jacob is our refuge seller. Come, behold the works of the Lord who has made this desolation in the earth. He makes war cease to the end of the earth. He breaks the bow and casts the spear into two. He burns the chariots in fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will, ex I will be exalted among the nations. I'll be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge seller. Seller just means pause and think about this. God is our refuge. When the earth begins to rage, when we don't have answers, when there is confusion, mountain pressures, the unknown, uncertainty, difficulties, fear, the word of God says, God is our refuge. This is one of the songs that was, one of the psalms written by the sons of Korah. The sons of Korah were a family of Levites and they were part of David's musical company. They wrote a lot of the Psalms. You can reference them in 2 Chronicles 2019 as part of David's choir. David had such a powerful choir whom those who ministered to the Lord. There is something about worship and worship through songs, it brings down the presence of God. God is our refuge. As we read the psalm, you begin to understand that God is settled in the midst of his people. God is not far away somewhere that we have to go look out. He is with us. He is our refuge. In times of trouble, 
he will be with us. You see, when it comes to Psalm 46, God is putting his integrity on the line. He's saying, I'm God. I'm God. Try me. Test me. Prove me. I don't fail. God is our refuge. He is our refuge. Not just our refuge, but our strength. A very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear. I'm reading the first three verses again. Even though the earth be moved, that means no matter what chaos is around, though the mountains be carried in the midst of the sea, things begin to move a way that they are, they are not supposed to move. Though its waters roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with its swelling cellar, Though the waters roll, though it's troubled, though there is a raging city, whatever it is, God is our refuge and our strength. Because of this, we will not be afraid. Hallelujah. God is a place of refuge. When refuge is mentioned in those times, when Israel was being formed as a nation, God told them to build some cities. And in those cities, they were called the cities of refuge. In those cities, when you have done something wrong, when the law is after you, you can run into a city of refuge. And when you enter into a city of refuge, you are safe. And so God is using this imagery and telling us, telling Israel, that God is our refuge. That means when you run into him, there is safety. This is where the verse comes from, the meaning of the verse. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and he is safe or she is safe. There is safety, there is refuge in God. God is our refuge. He is also our strength. God is not just our refuge. He's our strength. God is strong for them. And God is also strong in them. That means even though I may be weak, I am strong because God is my strength. He is the booster of my energy. God is my strength. I cannot rely on my own strength in difficult times. It is like if you are familiar with adrenaline. You may reach a place where you are tired or weak. But maybe when you see something you are afraid of, adrenaline kicks in. Is the same concept, but this is stronger. This is God himself backing you. He becomes your strength, not just your refuge. Then he says that in the, in the verse, verse, um, uh, verse 1, God is our strength, a very present help. He is not just our refuge. He is not just our strength. He is also help in trouble. Therefore, when you find yourself in trouble, the one that you run to is God and God alone. Because he will help you. He does not leave us comfortless. He does not leave us alone. The question is, can I find God in times of trouble? Yes. The Bible describes it in a way I like it, the very present help. That means he will show up in times of trouble he will be present remember you know when you used to go, attend school they used to mark you present that means you are there you are available you showed up the very present help god is the help for now the now help that we need is the god of our our refuge he is not a distant god he is not far away from us. God is with 
us. He's here to help us. Hallelujah. That's the God we have come to tonight. And that's why I'm excited. Because as the world is running to nowhere, we are running to the God of our salvation. And we beckon the world to come to our God for there is safety and there is salvation in our God. For salvation belongs to our God. He controls our safety. He controls our life. The safety I'm talking of it's not any inherent safety. It's not something that is within us. It's something that he has given to us. The confidence by which I walk with. It's not that I'm, I don't see what is happening. But my confidence is not in myself and my ability or my knowledge. My confidence is not in what I'm seeing outside. My confidence is not in my government. My confidence is in my government of heaven that is the God Almighty. His kingdom rules over all. I obey my earthly government, but my confidence is in the God of my salvation. We go back to the verse 2. So God is not just our refuge and strength. He's not just help. Because of who he is, I am not afraid. We will not fear. We will not fear. Look at the dimensions of things the Bible is describing. That the earth can be moved. We're talking of earthquakes. We're talking of earth moving. Mountains being moved. Tsunamis. The Bible is describing all these things. They say we will not be afraid. Because our refuge is not in what we see. Our refuge is in the God of our salvation. God is our refuge today. God is our help today. This is not man-made. This is God. We can only trust in him. It's not man-made confidence. It's not man-made zeal. It's what God has placed in us. Therefore, we will not be afraid because he's our refuge, he's our strength, he's our help, he is also present with us. Verse 3 puts it beautifully. We are not afraid for just one reason. Because the mountains were moving, our God is our refuge. The seas are raging, he is our refuge. The waters are roaring. He is still our refuge. The mountains are shaking and swelling. He is still our refuge. It sounds like a flow of lava. So whether it's volcano, he is still our refuge. He is still our help. Circumstances don't change who God is. It only changes in our eyes. He is the same God yesterday. He is the God of the mountain. He is the God of the valley. He is the God of tomorrow. He changes not. Not as the Bible says. He doesn't change. He is the God of our refuge. In times of trouble. In times of trouble. It has nothing to do with us. Every creature will bow to this God. He himself is our help. Let me read verse 4 for you. There is a river. There is a river. Whose streams shall make glad the city of God. Now watch this. Jerusalem didn't have all these rivers. It was a dry patch land. And the sons of Korah were prophesying to Jerusalem that although you are a dry land, 
although you are an arid place, there is a river whose streams shall make glad the city of God. He says God is going to make rivers flow through the city. And this thirsty ground shall absorb water and flourish one more time. And he showed them where the river will flow from. The holy place of the tabernacle of the Most High. Remember in the New Testament where Jesus says, Out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. There is some water that can quench the test of this earth. There is some water that can stop the ravaging fires of this generation. There is some water that is able to stop diseases and sicknesses. And it's in the holy place of the tabernacle of the Most High. It is not in what we, our strengths will do. If the Lord doesn't help us, the help we receive is in vain. Because anything can fail, but God does not fail. There is a river whose stream shall make glad. There is a river. There is a river, Jerusalem. There is a river, Canada. There is a river. There is a river. And it's at the holy place of the tabernacle of the most holy, of the most high. The most holy God. Think about it. The solution to the problem is in the house of the Lord. That's why we run to God. We run after Him. We run towards Him. As the deer pants for water, as He thirsts for water, so our hearts will desire for God in these times. When Israel was sick in the wilderness, they cried to God. He told them, Moses to lift up a pole with a serpent on it, symbolic of Christ. Because the only hope we have is to look up to the God of our salvation from his most holy place. This is not the time we run away from the house of the Lord. Although we cannot meet, we can meet by technology. I know it's not the same, but it's still better that no worship of God. And so wherever you are, tune into the house of God for the solution we are looking for. The rivers and the streams that are going to flow. The ones that we have not seen. Because if you walk through Jerusalem, there are no rivers anywhere. I says there is a river whose stream. There is a river that has tributaries. And its streams shall make the city of God glad. It will bring relief. It will bring salvation. It will bring help to the people of God. That's why we go back to the God of our salvation. There is a river. Church, there is a river. There is a river. Verse 5 says, God is in the midst of her. Ah. She shall not be moved. God shall help her. Just at the break of dawn. There is a river. As we read in verse 4. And the Bible says in verse 5 that God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her just at the break of dawn. Verses, the nation raged. And the kingdoms were moved. He uttered his voice. The earth melted. There is a river. And that river is flowing from the house of God. The verse 5 says that God was in the midst of her. It is all about God. And this God shall not be moved. God shall help her. 
just at the break of dawn. Now, dawn is described here because dawn, just before dawn is the darkest part of the night. When there seemed to be no way out and everything seemed to be confused and there's a smoke of uncertainty, the Bible says that just at the break of dawn, God shall help her. The nations raged, the kingdoms were moved, he uttered his voice and the earth melted. Think about it. Jerusalem, I don't know how, how it is. But it was situated in a unique place. And so they didn't have all these rivers that flow through cities. And the psalmist says, these, there will be a river that will flow. This is not the menacing seas that scared them that God had to part. But these ones are going to bring salvation, peace, to quench the thirst of souls that are crying for help. And says the city of God will be glad because of this life giving water. It's going to soften hard grounds and bring forth seed one more time. Picture this. The river that is flowing is like the picture in Genesis where God plants a garden at the east of Eden and river flows in that garden to bring serenity, to bring peace, to bring calmness. My brother, my sister, there is a river that flows and it flows from the city of God. It flows to the city of God from the tabernacle of God. Hallelujah. And God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. Because of his presence. Because of God's presence. Because God is in the midst of us. We shall not be moved. I, 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 it reminds me of the song old song that we sing I shall not be moved just like a tree planted we shall not be moved we are firmly rooted on this earth although the earth moves the city is so established our lives are so established in God and the reason is that God can come and help us Looks into the promise, the promise that God gave. He says, She shall not be moved. She shall not be moved. That stands out. We will not be. God is coming to rescue his people. God doesn't pay no regard. He doesn't base his help on raging seas. Last Friday I was telling you about Jesus in the boat and the storm was raging but he was asleep. He doesn't control his sleep because he has given us the authority. He has strengthened us to speak to storms because we are planted firmly on this earth. I want to assure you of this. No sickness can wipe us off the face of the earth. 
no disease can bring the earth to an end. There is a river that can flow to us, flow to the city of God that will bring help. And the river is in the sanctuary, the holy place. And when he talks about the holies of holies, we are talking about God himself. He is our help. We will keep reading. Verse 9. Sorry, verse 7. The Lord of hosts is with us. The Lord of Jacob is our refuge. I like the reassurance. God is with us. He is our refuge. The Lord of hosts is with us. Yahweh Sabaoth is with us. It's very interesting. The Lord of hosts, the Lord of angels army, that is the word there, the Lord of hosts, God of angels army. And that means he has a backing of angels. The Lord of hosts is with us. And he turns and says the Lord of Jacob is our refuge. So he's not just the Lord of hosts, the Lord of all might and power, but he's introducing a new idea, a man called Jacob. Jacob, many have described as a supplanter. He was not all that he was not the Isaacs. He was not the Josephs. He had his own faults. He had his own life. He was not the perfect one. But God intentionally mentions his name. That I'm not just the Lord of hosts. I'm also the God of Jacob. The God of Jacob is our refuge. It doesn't just emphasize the covenant of grace. It emphasizes the fact that he is with us. Although he had a covenant with Jacob, grace also abound on Jacob. Somebody who just lives on a stone and heaven opens. This is the God we have come to. And maybe your situation is like you are sleeping on a stone. Maybe you lost your job. You don't know where the next meal is coming from. Maybe a loved one is not feeling well and you don't know whether they will come back home. And you are saying that I don't have it all. He introduces a man called Jacob who hasn't got it all. But God is still his refuge. God is still your refuge. No matter what the difficulty, God, no matter what your situation, God is still your refuge. The God of Jacob. He didn't say the God of Isaac. This is pause and think about this. It's not just Yahweh Sabaoth. But the God of Jacob as well. He is our strength. He is our refuge. Oh yes. He is the king of the multitudes. Think about it. The Lord of hosts with armies, taking nations, helping people. But he is also the God of ordinary Jacob. Who doesn't do all the right things all the time? So it's not the God of the big nations, which he is. Not that alone, but he knows you. He told Jeremiah, before you were born, I knew you. God knows you. God knows your name. He knows your address. 
He made your DNA. He is your God. Verse 8, Behold, come, behold the works of the Lord. Come and see the works of the Lord. Who has made the solution in the earth? He, has, he makes war cease to the end of the earth. He makes war cease to the end of the earth. He breaks the bow and cuts the spear in two. He burns the chariots in fire. This is the God we have come to. He is the God that is able to seize the wars of the nations. So many nations have declared war. But it's only God. That can stop this. Because all of us are fighting an invisible force. And every nation is admitting we can see this force by our eyes. But there is salvation in God. There is salvation in Him. Hallelujah. I'm going to introduce verse 10. Be still. I love it. It calms my spirit. Be still. This is the word from God himself. Now he's tendering to us. Be still and know that I'm God. Be still and know that I'm God. I'll be exalted among the nations. I'll be exalted in the earth. Be still and know that I'm God. I'll be exalted. Oh my God. Be still and know that I'm God. Think through it, ponder through it. Be still, be still. In the chaos, in the confusion, be still, be still, be still. It's a command from God. Be still. Stop rushing up and down. The thought here is not bringing a calm. It's like saying, Stop. Surrender. Freeze. Men are finding answers at wrong places. And in this fear and panic, everybody is throwing something there. Somebody will go to their bedroom and say, I'm an expert in this. And this is what I'm saying. You hear this today, tomorrow you hear that. The next day you hear this, I say be still. Last week I told you, there is a man behind the storm. Don't lose sight of it. Stop looking at the storm. Start looking at the man behind the storm. Surrender, be still. Freeze. And know that he is God. Submit fully to him. I'll be exalted among the nations. You will realize that nobody will take glory in this. It's only God. That's what I was singing when I came in. Let all the other names fade away. He will take the glory. Let all the other names fade away. Oh, ha. let all the other names fade away. Till there's only you. Till there's only you. Let all the other names. Let all the other names fade away. Nobody can take his glory. Let all the other names fade away. 
all the other names fade away until there's only you all fade away and Jesus take your place Jesus take your place Jesus take your place Jesus take your place let all the other names let all the other names fade away may Jesus be lifted in the midst of all this let all the other names fade away sing that from the depths of your heart let all the other names fade away oh let all the other names fade away sing there is only you there are all the other names fade away oh let all the other names fade away the names fade away because Emmanuel is with us let all the other names fade away and Jesus take your place let all the other names fade away let Jesus take his place let all the other names fade away till it's all you let all the other names fade Let all the other names fade away. Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. And Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. Verse 11, the Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge the one that will be exalted is saying he is with us it brings the thought of Emmanuel God is with us God is with us in your despair God is in the midst of his people the solution is calling on him from his holy tabernacle his holy place and you bring this river that will flow over the land it will wash it will cleanse it will rebuild he is with us he is with us he is with us what a psalm what a psalm of confidence and serenity what a song. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. If it's your refuge, if it's your help, if it's your God, we're going to pray together tonight. And as I said from the beginning, I said you could send your prayer requests or maybe the Lord is laying something strong on your heart. You could just send it to us and we're going to join hearts with you and pray with you tonight. Or whatever time it is, wherever you are listening to me. We want to pray with you. But before we do that, let's sing the song again, I think. It's a song of revelation for me tonight. And I want you to just join in and sing it. Hands up, hearts open wide as the sky. So those are symbol lyrics. Hands up, hearts open wide as the sky. Hands up, hearts open wide as the sky. We lift you high. We lift you high. Our hands up, we surrender. Hearts open wide as, the, as we cry. 
God, we lift your name high. Let's take it again. And hands up, hearts open wide as the sky. We lift you high. We lift you high. Our hands up, hearts open wide as we cry. God, we lift your name high. Let's take it again. Hands high, hearts open wide as the sky. We lift you high. We lift you high. Hands up, hearts open wide as we cry. God, we lift your name high. Let all the other names fade away. That's simple. Let all, let all the other names fade away. Until there's only you. Let all the other names fade away. Let the names fade away. Let all the other names fade away. Sing it again. Let all the other names fade away. Let all the other names fade away. Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. And Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. He's the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. All the other names fade away. Let all the other names fade away. Until there's only you. All the other names fade away. Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. Let's say it together. Jesus, take your place. And Jesus, take your place. And Jesus, take your place. He says, when I'm lifted high, I'll draw men to myself. Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. And Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. Let all the other, let all the other names fade away. Let all the other names fade away Until there's only you Let all the other names fade away Let everything fade away Let all the other names fade away For Jesus, take your place Jesus, take your place Jesus, take your place Jesus, take your place Answer has opened wide as the sky. Lord, we lift your name high. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let that song ring in your heart. Let it ring in your heart. Let every name fade away. Let every news fade away. And may Jesus be lifted high in the hearts of men and the hearts of women. Tonight, we are going to pray. Maybe I'll start off with you. We're going to pray for people who are critically ill in your city. Church, when I see an ambulance pass by, I start a prayer. And that's my normal practice. Because when I am in an ambulance, and if I'm in an ambulance, I want somebody to pray for me. Because anyone in an ambulance cannot pray for themselves. Somebody in ICU, intensive care unit, cannot pray for themselves. They are relying on us to pray for them. You may not know them from Adam. But upon your walls, O Jerusalem, I've set up watchmen. God has called you today as a watchman for your city to pray for somebody. 
So we're going to pray for all those who are critically ill in intensive care, not just for COVID-19, but for anybody who is critically ill in your city. We're going to stand up as an army and we're going to pray with standing the God for our cities. And after we finish, everything will fade away. May healing come, may deliverance come, may help come from the Lord. I've started hearing testimonies of people who were in intensive care and others when they prayed for them and they got healed. There is no distance in prayer. And brother, sister, let's stand together and war for our cities. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I lift every soul in intensive care in my city I declare healing over their lives I declare deliverance over their lives I stand in the gap for my city and father when it's said and done I will give you glory I will give you honor Lift up your voice. Let's pray for our city. Pray for anybody in intensive care. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Whatever the sickness is, whether it's respiratory diseases, heart diseases, cancer, pneumonia, whatever it is, whatever sickness it is, lift up your voice and pray. Pray over your city. Pray that anybody in critical situation, the situation itself we're in is critical. Therefore, when somebody's in a critical situation, it's double critical. Let's rise up and pray. Let's rise up and pray. This is the time we're standing for our city. This is why God placed you in your city to be a prayer force, a prayer warrior for somebody in the city. Anybody in the critical situation, anybody who's fighting for their lives, we are standing as an army. We are standing as the children of God. And we are praying for them. Lift up prayer. Lift up prayer for your city. Lift up prayer for your city. When your city is safe, you are safe. Mashuda Isai Kabotaya. Mrasi Tayamaha. Meshi Kalamaha. Whoever the devil is trying to take away this momentum, we stand together. We stand as a people and we pray for our city. Lift up prayer, lift up prayer, lift up prayer. You have hospitals in your city. You can mention them by name. You can mention them by department and pray for them. Pray for them. Anybody in critical situations now. Some people have been at make makeshift and hospitals. Let your prayer reach to them. If your city has those things, let your prayer reach to them wherever they are because God is able to reach out be still and know I'm God that is his word his word is final let's put him to test tonight maybe you know somebody who's in a critical situation lift up your voice mention them by name and pray for them and pray for them and pray for them and pray for them, pray for them. oh yes 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 Pray for them, pray for them. Lift up your voice and pray. Lift up your voice and pray for your city. Oh yes, 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 yes. All oh, the aspects have made their projection. But we want an intervention of God in our cities. Intervention of God in our towns. That those in critical situations will begin to recover. There is recovery in the name of the Lord. God is our refuge. God is our strength, our very present help, our very present help in time of need. God is our help. Lift up your voice and pray for your city. Pray for anybody in intensive care. Lift it up, lift it up, lift it up. Let's keep praying. My God, touch lives, touch lives, touch lives. Affect them. Oh yes, I come against brain tumors. May they melt by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Blood of Jesus. Touch lives, affect lives, influence lives. Lift up your voice and pray. Lift up your voice and pray for your city. Oh, yes, 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 yes. We curse the root of cancer. 
matande ya degenerated diseases will come against you matin so la ikatanda iba incurable diseases matia we zero in the word of god wherever you are we call for for a miracle we call for for a miracle in my city lift up your voice lift up your voice and pray for your city cry unto god makatanda yaba hands up has opened wide lift the name of jesus over the situation lift the name of jesus over the situation let every sickness fade away let every sickness fade away until the name of jesus is lifted pray for your city shout out god lift a prayer lift a prayer lift a prayer pray as if the person there is a loved one pray as if it's your business to do it because it's your business to pray for your city lift it up lift it up lift it up lift up prayer lift up prayer lift up prayer let's show it hands together and pray for our city oh yes 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 lift up prayer lift up prayer in the very name of jesus father i stand tonight as your people have prayed over their cities may angels be as be assigned to their cities they've mentioned hospitals holy god let angels be assigned to those hospitals father they've mentioned names send forth healing angels to those people oh god let there be a change let there be a reversal let earth know that we serve a living god in the very name of jesus hallelujah the second prayer is unique we are going to fight against fear Say, oh Lord, I banish fear. I banish fear from my community. Say, oh Lord, I banish fear from my community in the name of Jesus. Say, oh Lord, I banish fear from my community in the name of Jesus. A few days ago, I told you that there are two rather viruses that are fighting us. The COVID-19 and COVID fear. Fear itself is torment. Fear is the gateway of the enemy. I'm not saying be careless. I'm telling you to do all that you're supposed to do. Take your social distancing seriously. Take your personal hygiene seriously. Protect yourself. But my prayer is that we are banishing fear. Fear does not help the situation. Fear will make us make mistakes. Fear will make our leaders make mistakes. So let's say it again. Say, oh Lord, I banish fear from my community. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice and let that be your prayer. Banish fear, banish fear. The enemy brings fear. Faith comes by hearing the word of God. Fear comes by hearing the word of Satan. Banish fear, banish fear. That the cities will not be afraid. That your community will not be afraid. Oh yes, lift up your voice. Lift up your voice and pray. Lift up your voice and pray. Oh yes, banish fear, banish fear from your city. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Lift it up, lift it up, lift it up. I shall not be afraid. I shall not fear. The Lord is my refuge. The Lord is my strength. The Lord is my help. Lift up your voice, lift up your voice. Lift up your voice, lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Lift it up, lift it up. Lift it up, lift it up. Oh yes, 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 yes. Oh yes, 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 yes. Oh yes, lift up your voice, lift up your voice, lift up your voice. Lift up your voice, lift up your voice. We banish fear from our cities. We banish fear from our communities. We banish fear from our own lives. That we shall not be afraid, we shall not be afraid. We shall not be afraid, we shall not be afraid. Not be afraid. Oh yes, that this sickness will not cower us. We shall stand tall in our homes. We shall stand tall, lift up your voice, 
lift up your voice lift up your voice lift up your voice that fear will not grip your community oh yes that fear will not grip us because fear can form a stronghold over a place we are not afraid we are not afraid if we are fighting an enemy the enemy then we should not be afraid of the enemy oh yes 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 in warfare sometimes misinformation is released so that the enemy will be afraid oh yes we are not afraid we are not afraid banish fear banish fear from your community in jesus name we are praying father i stand as your servant and i banish fear i come against fear in the lives of individuals in our communities i come against the spirit of fear that is attacking our cities and father we release faith out of the abundance of faith may healing waters flow may healing rivers flow over our cities in the very name of jesus hallelujah we're going to take our third prayer and we're going to pray against some weapons but one weapon i want us to pray against the weapon of misinformation misinformation is a known weapon of armies there is so much information overload of information some of them to deflect you some of them to weaken you some of them to make you afraid some of them make you to lose your guard so we're going to pray against misinformation say any misinformation release into the atmosphere we cancel by fire say it again any misinformation release in the atmosphere we cancel by fire any misinformation released in the atmosphere released through social media released to us we cancel we cancel we condemn by fire in the name of jesus don't underrate misinformation misinformations can change the outcomes of wars when you are focused and you are fighting what god wants you to fight the enemy wants to turn your attention to a place where there is no war. Maybe some of the things that have been released may be, th may be true. But it's not needed at this time. At this time, I don't want you to lose sight of the fact that the devil has an agenda. And so lift up your voice and begin to pray against misinformation release into this atmosphere lift up your voice lift up your voice enemies information released into the atmosphere through social media we cancel we destroy we burn by fire in the name of jesus lift it up lift it up lift it up lift it up people who are orchestrating misinformation we come against it we come against it we come against it we come against it lift up your voice lift up your voice child of god Begin to pray, begin to pray. Lift up your voice. Mante, Zilo, Shaim, Daiba, Inebusaya, Bultalima. We bring down misinformation. Mekataya, Rima Atandaya, that has been released into the atmosphere. Madiaba, through social media, through radio, through television. Makatanda Laba, Mereseaba. At this moment, God, even TV stations are spewing misinformation. We come against the spirit behind it. We come against the spirit behind it. In the name of Jesus, we cancel such information with fire. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice. Lift up your voice and pray. Pray with me tonight. I partner with you tonight to pray. We are praying against misinformation. We are praying against misinformation. Lift it up, lift it up, lift up prayer, lift up prayer, lift up prayer tonight, my dear Solima Atea Moa. Nekataya for God is our refuge. That is the information we know. Makatanda Labo Salaba Atanda Yaba. We know whom we have believed. 
Masayaba, we refuse misinformation. Mandi Zakatandalia, Reba Dalaba Atande Leboa, Rinde Saya, Lekataya, Left a Prayer, Nesia Klizarua Dea, Indevi Hasukaya, Enter into the Deep, Maza Ito. Namraseya, dismantle misinformation, Magriya Baba, Rabba Kataya, douse their effect, Mabu Sayaba, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, Metai, Mirisia, Mrasi Katandaliha, Noma Sekataya, Army of the Lord, come on, come on, lift up prayer, lift up prayer, Manti Salia Soyaka, Rambi Sayaba, this is our field, Madea, take dominion, take authority, Mazea, Reba against the misinformation highway. Matika take the Lebaya, Brusia, block it, Mazatia. That this information will not be passed round. It will not reach your phone. It will not reach our community. Maze Talebaha. We corrupt misinformation. Madea. In the Mosain Danikato Maha. Rabakataya. Reba Asindeaba. The information that is needed will reach the people of God. Labaza, lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Mandiria. Mekatin de la Labazuri Abaya. Rekatanda Yaba. Misinformation released into the atmosphere. Makatana to our homes. Madi Kataya. We cancel. Madi Katanda Laba. Mreseyaba. Misinformation downloaded. We nullify. Ma Murusia Maha. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, I stand with my people as we pray. And I come against every misinformation released into the atmosphere through social media, through television, through radio, wherever platform they are using. We stand in the blood of Jesus and we cancel it by the force of the Holy Ghost. I declare that this information, this misinformation will not have no effect on any person. Whether it's meant to confuse people, we cancel it. Whether it's to cause fear and panic, we cancel it. And we block every highway of misinformation and declare it as well with the children of God. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Amen and amen. Now we're going to pray this prayer. Maybe you are not affected. You realize that so many people are losing their jobs. That by itself make people panic. But we're going to pray this prayer that all things will work together for your good. How God will do it, I don't know. When he will do it, I don't know. If it means he's shifting you to something better, or refocusing, retooling your business, whatever it is. But there is always a way out. God has never left his people in crisis. When crises are over, he gives us fresh beginnings. And he gives us something better than we lost. So maybe, sadly, you are in such a situation where you've lost your job and you don't know the outcomes we're going to invoke the word of God we're going to pray for it I know in these times most cities are on lockdown so you are home we are praying because one day this will be over I pray sooner than later and when it's over we will be locked into the promises of God. The Bible itself has said, the one that does not work should not eat. It's God who said it. So he should provide this work. If this will be over in May, June, July, whenever it will be over, that job should be waiting for you. It could be your old job. But if you were going to pray that when you enter, it will be better. It could be a new job better say Lord Jesus I lift the future of our job situation in your hands I lift my career in your hands 
You said if we don't work, we should not eat. Therefore, provide. We are praying forward. Say, therefore, provide. I know now most of us don't worry about it, but we are praying forward. Lord, provide. Lord, provide. Lord, provide. Lord, provide. He will make a provision. When we reach the, the banks of where we are crossing to, lift up your voice and begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray for jobs ahead. Begin to pray for your career ahead. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Base it on the word of God. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. We are putting ourselves in a place where God himself will prepare for us. He will prepare for us. He will prepare for us what he has prepared us for. Oh yes, 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 yes. Lift it up, lift up, lift up your job situation, your career situation in his hands. Maybe this was just an opportunity for God to turn you to where he wants you to be. Just lift up your voice. Maybe the job he has prepared for you for years that you never looked at. Maybe, maybe, just maybe, this is the time. Pray, pray ahead, pray ahead, pray ahead, pray ahead. Maybe the opportunity you've been waiting for, maybe this is the time. Pray ahead, pray ahead, pray ahead. The Lord who provides, the Lord your refuge, the Lord your help. Lift up prayer, lift up prayer, lift up prayer, lift up prayer, lift up prayer. In the very name of Jesus, in the very name of Jesus. Father, we stand together one more time again. With our hearts open and we declare tonight, lifting up our careers and our jobs into your hands. You said if we don't work, we should not eat. Based on your word, provide, oh God, jobs ahead. Jobs that never existed ahead. Business ideas which were never once in existence, drop them into our hearts. Prepare us ahead when this is said and done. In Jesus' name, amen. Now we're going to take our last prayer from myself and then I'll take some of the prayers you, you have posted or you have sent in. Now before I do this prayer, we're going to pray for those who are suffering at this moment. Please don't suffer alone. Don't stay home without food. And be ashamed to reach out. Don't do it. If it means what we are eating, we will share with you. These are difficult times. We want to minister to you. We want to reach out to you. And so if you are suffering, you need something. We are willing to share with you. But we're going to pray. For those who are in need, we're going to pray for them. We're going to lift up prayer for them. That God of all provision, may he provide for these homes. He's the provider. Say, oh great, oh great provider, provide our needs. Oh great provider, provide our needs in the name of Jesus. Oh great provider, provide our needs. In the name of Jesus. Oh great provider, provider, provide our needs. In the name of Jesus. Lift up prayer, lift up prayer. Great provider, great provider, provide our needs, provide our needs. Father, you know what, what each and everyone needs. Some need food. I pray that through men you provide this. Some need healing. I pray that you provide it. Some need a peace of mind. Provide it, oh God anything they are in need of whatever they are in need of oh yes make provision available for them you are the great provider you are the great provider you are the great provider our god will provide your needs according to your riches provide help where help is needed reach out unto them oh god Cause men to provide, cause men to provide. Somebody may be in need of counseling. My God, 
provide, provide a vessel. Matea Moa, in this I pray for destiny helpers. Makatanda Yaba to come to our aid. Mazula Maze Katanda Yaba, great provider, provide our needs. Great provider, provide our needs for your mercies and Dios forever. Lift up your voice and cry unto God. 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 Madabe above. Great provider. Provide our needs. Mate Korea Bandaya. Mose and I have. Lift up prayer. Lift up prayer. Mate Koriba. Ramazi Aba. Nobody should suffer alone. Mandi Sakalaba Ataya. Provide, O God. Provide for the vulnerable. Provide for the weak. Provide for the poor. Provide for the lost. Provide, O God. Provide in the name of Jesus. Lift up prayer. Lift up prayer. Those who need peace in their families, provide. Those who are asking for joy, O God, provide. Provide, O God, provide. In the very name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, you are the one that provides. You are able to feed Israel with manna and give them quails in the desert. This is the God who you are. When Jesus needed to pay for his taxes, you provided. You know how to provide. When thousands of men and women were hungry, you provided bread and fish. By your miraculous hand, provide to your people, O oh God. Let us say that in our wilderness, his provision was made available. We give you praise, O oh God, for what you are already doing. In Jesus' name. Amen. Now I'll take a prayer from you. This one says, pray against the spirit of suicide or suicidal thoughts. We're going to stand together. The devil is a liar. Listen, if you are hearing the sound of my voice, this is not the end of the story. We are going to rewrite history. We will call ourselves overcomers. The Bible calls you an overcomer because there was an obstacle, there was a pain, there was a difficult situation you overcame. Stand with me, we will overcome this as well. The life in your hands is so valuable. You are too valuable for this world. Don't let the devil deceive you that this is the end of it, this is the beginning. Because you will stand one day and testify of the goodness of God. Taking your life is not the solution. Live for Christ. Give your life to the world. The world needs you so much. Your smile alone, your presence brings joy to us. But we're going to stand with you tonight that the devil who is a bad devil will not get to you. We pray that the peace of God that surpasses understanding will rest and abide with you. We're going to lift up this prayer. Say, spirit of suicide. We demolish your works in Jesus' name. Spirit of suicide. We demolish your works in the name of Jesus. Spirit of suicide, we demolish your works in the name of Jesus. Let it be your prayer. Let's join us and pray. Pray against suicide, suicidal thoughts. Lift up your voice and pray. The devil is a liar. We bulldoze away thoughts of suicide. I pray for hope for your people, oh God. Mandi Salikatoya, let Andea let hope arise, let hope arise in them, O oh God. Mati Yagaya, I take this opportunity to pray for those who have mental illness. My God, touch them, 
at this point, Magatandula Isaika, Rebe Tota Kisan Deboa, Mekatanda Ikataya, touch our souls, O God, Masi Katanda Labarwa Baya, Riba Sekaya, we come against the spirit of suicide. We come against the spirit of suicide that no one will take their lives. Mandi Zalia Totai, Rima Kati Loposia. Mlandi Galiza, Reba Sika Tondeka, Ina Muzaketaya, we break those chains, we dismantle those ideas, Magatandoria, Landi Zahita, Guadandea, in the name of Jesus, Maula Saika Mariandaya. Father, we stand in unity and one accord, and we destroy the power of the thoughts of suicide that would never take hold of any person and we declare peace over their lives in Jesus name amen and if you are this person reach out to us if you are going through this reach out to us they'll they'll give you a number to reach out to us reach out to us we are willing to be there but want to hear your voice don't let the devil steal your precious life. We'll take our second prayer from you. The Lord use me also to connect to anyone close to me in need. So our prayer is that God will help us to connect or connect her to somebody in need. Maybe your next door neighbor, somebody on your street is suffering and you don't even know. May God grant you that opportunity. Say, Lord, help me to connect to anyone in need. In Jesus' name, let that be your prayer. Let that be your prayer. Let that be your prayer. May the Lord connect you to people who are in need. God, connect me to somebody who is in need so that I may be of help to the person. Lift up prayer. Lift up prayer. Lift up prayer. Lord, connect me. Connect me to anyone. Anyone, 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 anyone close to me who is in need, lift up your voice and pray. Some people are shy. They don't want to speak. May the Lord help you to open them up so that you can help them. Lift up this prayer. Lift up this prayer. Lift up this prayer. Lift it up. Lift it up. Lift it up. May the Lord use you as a vessel, a vessel of help in times of need for somebody. Oh yes, sometimes it may not be much. It could be just a can of food, something little, you would know how much to go a long way to help somebody. It could be a few dollars, whatever it is. Say, Lord, use me, use me, use me. I avail myself to help anybody who is close to me, who is in need. Let that be your prayer, let that be your prayer, let that be your prayer, let that be your prayer. Oh, yes, 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 I'm joining us with you tonight and praying with you. I'm praying with you. Lord, help me. Lord, help me. Lord, help me. Lord, help me. So that you connect me to somebody else, somebody else, somebody close who is in need. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Lift that prayer. Lift up the prayer. Lift up the prayer. Lift up the prayer. Lift up the prayer. In Jesus' much less name. Father, help us to see those who are in need, especially those close to us. I pray that you open our hearts and open our eyes so that we can be a help to them. We give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. We'll take our third prayer from you. It says, use me, Lord, to be a blessing and your channel to help people. What a powerful prayer. At this point, there are people out there who are helpless. And we are going to be the helping hand. We are going to be the light and the salt. So we're going to pray. Say, oh Lord, use me to bless. Oh Lord, Use me to bless. Make me your channel to help people. Make me your channel to help people. In Jesus' name, 
Let that be your prayer. Let that be your prayer. Pray that the Lord will use you as a blessing. The Lord will use you as a channel of blessing. Oh yes. Oh yes. It could be a word you will speak to somebody. It could be somebody, something you gave to somebody. Lift up prayer. Say, God, use me. This is the time I'm availing myself. I'm breathing. I'm strong. I'm well. God, use me to be a blessing. And your own channel, use me that people will know that through me, through me, people will know your saving power. Through me, people will understand that God cares and God heals and God blesses. Use me as your channel. Lift up prayer, lift up prayer. Use me, oh Lord, to be a blessing. Use me as your channel and instruments of help. Oh yes, when it's said and done, the nations will turn their hearts to you because you use me. Oh yes, ask the Lord to use you as a blessing. Ask the Lord, lift up the prayer, lift up the prayer that God will use you as a blessing and his channel as of help to other people. Oh yes, lift up prayer, lift up prayer. Help us, oh God, to be a blessing. Lift up prayer. Messiah, use me, O oh Lord. Use me, O oh Lord. Man, diri 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 aboa. La katanda ya ba tende diya. He looked around and he was looking for a man to use. Yes, who should I send and who should go? I'm ready, O oh God. I'm ready, O oh God. I'm ready, O oh God. Matanda ya ba to be a blessing to somebody. Use me as a channel of help for your people. In Jesus' name, Father. This is time we are ready to be released as your light to this world, as a blessing and the channels you can use. Use us to your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. I'll take the fourth prayer from you. It says, a prayer to invoke the blood of Jesus against demonic altars in our community and in our nations. Altars are built for worship. So God can have an altar and the enemy can have an altar. Now what altars do is that they speak. When Abel died, his blood built an altar and it was speaking vengeance. There are some altars built Maybe in your community, in your city. And all that it does is that it sucks blood. It destroys life. You go to some communities, you see a pattern. Something common that happens in the city. It could be an altar has been built. And this prayer from you is saying that we should pray and invoke the blood of Jesus against any demonic altars in our community and our nation. Say with me, I come against every demonic altar in my community and my nation. I come against every demonic altar in my community and my nation in the blood of Jesus. So evoke it again, say, I come against every demonic altar in my community and my nation in the blood of Jesus. Lift up prayer. Lift up prayer. Invoke the blood. Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus against every altar. Against every altar. Demonic altar in our communities. Blood sucking altars. We come against you. Sickness infesting altars. We come against you. Destructive altars. We come against you. Altars that have been incantated on. We come against you. We plead the blood. Blood of Jesus is against you. Satan, the blood of Jesus is against you. Lift up prayer. Invoke the blood. Makatan de Against demonic altars. Against demonic altars. Mandia, lift up prayer. Mandia sekataya. Don't get tired. Join us with me. Mandi saliatola mia hearts. And saliaton daliba. Lift up prayer. Lift up prayer. Make a tire. Against demonic altars. In our communities. Mande ribo o. In that zikotan dali atandika. Robo koton dali azaika tambua. Ramadu da ita. 
Miguel Tandi Zahibo in the sea, Lama Sa, lift up prayer against demonic altars, Mandia, in your community, in your nation, Mahatala Meribaya, Rekatun de la Baha, altars of idol worship, altars against churches, altars against Christians. We come against you by the blood of Jesus, Mandi Zola Katanda La Baria, Rabakaya. Lift up your heads, oh you gaze. Lift up your heads, oh you gaze. In the name of Jesus, Makatayaba, we katanda yaba, we demolish altars. Maki kakuri abaya, rambe tayabaha, altars, demonic altars of our ancestors, we demolish them. Demonic altars in our cities, we demolish them. Maki katuande laba, rise up and pray with me. Rise up and pray with me, Maziakaya. In the name of so Yaha, Eliza Liha Karuabandea, Mikatanda Liha Saya, Ena Mazakaya, Army of God, let's demolish all these altars. Makatanda Le Buzakaya, In the Ria Bo, Salelebe Apoa, Rebekataya. Blood of Jesus is against you. Blood of Jesus is against you, Makatanda Le, Rimo Salabaha. Mia Sikataya, lift it up, lift it up, Maka Kalua Bamba Ika, Irokotondo Lebeha, Ineketanda Labahesia, Rei Shehaba. We stand together one more time, O oh God, as a people. We come against every demonic altar in our community and we break them down. We restore the altar of God in our communities. May the name of Jesus be raised high in our communities. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. We'll take the next prayer from you. We're going to pray for the most vulnerable seniors and children in our nation. It is so sad. When I look closely at what is happening, I think we still can do more. When it comes to seniors and children. They are in their crowning years. And this is the time we have to celebrate them. There's not a time to pack them away. I pray that God will touch your heart that from today your attitude towards seniors will change. They are an indicator of where we are going. They indicate our future. So as you look at seniors, you're looking at your future. At this point, after they built this nation for us, they built this community for us, they built these towns and cities for us, I think we are not thanking them enough. As we clap for other people, we should keep clapping for the seniors as well. But what we are enjoying was birthed from the back of this older generation. Now is the time for us, for us to rise up and help them. And also, we pray for our children because they are also vulnerable. Say, Lord, I lift seniors and children in this nation before you. I pray safety over their lives. I pray safety over their lives. I pray safety over their lives. In Jesus' name, let that be your prayer. Let that be your prayer. Pray for the most vulnerable, seniors and children in our nation. Lift up prayer, lift up prayer, lift up prayer, lift up prayer. Pray for them, pray for them, pray for them. That the Lord will save them, the Lord will help them, the Lord will deliver them. At this point, some of them look like they cannot help themselves. May the Lord Himself intervene wherever they are, wherever they are. And Father, use us to help them as well. 
Use us, oh God, to help them. Makatandaya, the most vulnerable in our communities. Lift up prayer. Lift up prayer. Lift up prayer. Maybe your mom is not alive. Maybe your dad is not alive. But there's a senior alive in your building, on your street. There's a senior that needs this prayer. Lift up, lift up, lift up, lift up prayers. For, for them, for the most vulnerable. That's what we've been called to. That's what we call for as children of God. Lift it up, lift it up, lift it up. Pray, pray, pray for the most vulnerable, the seniors and the children. Let's stand together and pray and pray and pray for them. Lift up prayer for them. Lift up prayer for them. Matoya, if you know them by name, mention them by name and pray for them. If you know maybe a home where seniors are, turn your prayers there and begin to pray for them. If you know the name of the seniors' home, pray. Mention the name that the help of God will go there. Pray for the most vulnerable. Lift up children, lift up children before the throne of God. There may be some in your home, there may not be some in your home, but pray for every child that will come into your mind. Lift up prayer for children, lift up prayer for children, lift up prayer, lift up prayer, lift up prayer, lift up prayer. Lift up prayer. We stand together, we stand with one accord. We pray for these children. Save them, O God, from the jaws of the enemy. Save them from the paws of Satan in the name of Jesus. As the enemy has made them a target. Makataya, we fight for them. We fight for their lives. Makatanda lehaya. Resu la hasaki tando. Lai buzai katanda la urua kea. Pray for them. Pray for them. Pray for them. Makataya. Lekataya mozaya. Rabakataya. For these children, our future, oh God. Dabaseyaba. Preserve them. I pray that the spirit of Herod will not take them out. Mate katonda liza ikakwandea. Messi kalizai wa atandea ba. In the name of Jesus. Makari baba ataya. Rebo salima ato akandea. In the name of Jesus. Father. We pray for seniors and children in our nation. Your word says that he that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I pray that they will abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Keep them safe, O oh God. Keep them secure. In Jesus' name, and the people of God said amen and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to take maybe one more or two more prayer points so that we will close. I know your prayers are coming, but you keep them flowing. We will still pick them up and pray for you. The sixth, the, the sixth prayer is uh, from you is we pray against panic attacks and anxiety. You see, when fear sets in, it creates anxiety. You were in your city a few weeks ago where the enemy hit a panic button. We ran to the grocery store and then we took all the toilet tissue and the panic just subsided. I believe strongly the devil is testing his systems. And for that reason, we should be careful what he's throwing over us. He wants to see what happens when he, he hits the panic button. The level of anxiety that, the, that will create. The Bible says, be anxious for nothing. In all things, with prayer and supplication, let your requests be made unto God, so that the peace of God which surpasses understanding will rest with you. And so we're going to pray against panic attacks. Declare with me, say, you panic attacks, you have no place in my life, you have no place in my home, I push back anxiety, I push back fear, in Jesus' name. Lift up, let that be your prayer, let that be your prayer, let that be your prayer. Pray against panic attacks. Oh yes, oh yes, the devil will tell you that something is about to take you down. You are strong, you are not going down. 
Keep praying, keep praying. Because that's the antidote to your anxiety. Lift up prayer. May your confidence be in God. The Bible says God is our refuge. You can run into him. There is salvation and safety there. Lift up prayer. Lift up prayer against panic attacks and anxiety. When the devil tells you what next, tell the devil that God is in the midst of his people. Lift up prayer. Lift up prayer. Lift up prayer against panic attacks and anxiety. Mato Selibai, lift up your voice, lift up your voice, lift up your voice, lift up your voice. Oh, yes, 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 let the prayer flow, let the prayer flow. Masekatan, deliver attire, resokatan de yaba, reba tele hasayama. In the name of Jesus, lift your voice, lift your voice and pray. Mahatan de yaba, reba katan de la bazukua, reba katayaba, pray against panic attacks and anxiety. Masekato beriaba, reba katayaba. You declared, be still and know I'm God. We stand at ease and say you are God in the midst of this. Makatanda la bazekataya. Mesate karibabaya. Musayama. Lift up prayer. Lift up prayer against panic. Masetan de lebo opoya. Rikatanda lizai kuatande leha. Rebe kotanda yabaha. May you be exalted, O God, Maze Kataya, in the nations, Makatande Yaba, Messi Kati Obo, Shiliba Atande Yaba, in the very name of Jesus. Father, again we agree that we will not panic and we will not be afraid. We stand by your word as you zero in on us. Shouting peace, be still. We stand at ease in the midst of the storm. In Jesus' name, amen. Our next prayer point says, the blood of Jesus bring law and order into every area of the communities in the name of Jesus. Okay, so we're going to pray that God will bring law and order in every area of our communities. This order is not from God. He is a God of order. Especially when your leaders have told you one thing. As a community, we are agreeing on social distancing. This is not a time to create chaos. It is against the will of God. You see, the danger of chaos and disorder is sometimes underestimated. When there is disorder, the police cannot function. Emergency services cannot function. The fire service cannot function. So let's take this wonderful prayer that God will bring law and order into every area of our communities. Declare to say, I declare law and order in every area of my community in Jesus' name. You're going to declare it again. Take the bull by the horn and declare, say, I declare law and order in every area of my community. In the name of Jesus. Say it again. Say, I declare law and order in every area of my community. In the name of Jesus. Let it be your prayer. Let it be your prayer. Yes, yes, yes. Devil is the author of confusion. Madayaba. We resist him. We resist him. Makata. May God reign over our communities. May God reign over our communities. Makata. No Prussia. Reign over our communities. Makataya. Rebakatandayaba. When the earth was without form, you said, let there be light. I speak light into the communities. I bring order to the communities in the name of Jesus. Declare it tonight. Declare it tonight. Order, order, order in your communities. Makaria Boba. Rekatande Musaika Rekatande Yaba. We will not listen to the voice of the devil. Makatande Zamrusiandeya Lekatande Yabo Sayaba Rekatanda La Bahataya. We banish lawlessness. Makatande Yaba Rekatande Yabo Asaya. 
Wakatanda yaba will resist this order. Makatanda yaba. Pray, pray, pray for order. Pray for order in your communities. Makatanda laza etoa. Enderi ya sokatanda yaba. Rabakatanda la zekapoa. Remakotanda laba. Rabakatinde za ababo saya. We declare law and order. We declare 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 order in our communities. Matulabashekabaya. In the name of Jesus. As you tended in Psalm 46. As you shouted, be still. We shout order. And Father, we declare everything becomes still to the glory of your name. In Jesus' name we've prayed. Amen. This is another prayer from you. Prayer to commit every life into the hands of God. To keep us in his secret place. Keep us where the hand of the enemy cannot touch us. In Jesus' name. Another wonderful prayer. We are going to commit our lives into the able hands of God. He's got the world in his hands. And so think about that hand that holds you in his palm. And keep us in the secret place. I'll say unto the Lord, he is my refuge, my fortress, the God in whom I trust. That is when we are in the secret place. The secret place is the hiding place of God, where God will hide us. Like a brooder hand will brood over his cheeks. That is the imagery from Psalm 91. So we're going to pray that God will keep us in his secret place. That no harm will come near our habitation. Say, O oh Lord, Keep me in your secret place. Keep me where the hand of the enemy cannot touch. In Jesus' name. So it's a simple prayer. Say, oh Lord, keep me in your secret place. Keep me where the hand of the enemy cannot touch. In Jesus' name. Lift up your voice and pray. Lift up your voice and pray. The Lord will keep you in his secret place. The Lord will keep you in his secret place. Oh yes. And the Lord will protect you. And the Lord will protect you. Oh yes. That the hand of the enemy will not be able to touch you. Lift up prayer. Lift up prayer. Lift up prayer. Lift up prayer. Makataya. Far from the reach of the enemy. Makataya. For he who that dwells in the secret place of the Mosa shall abide under the shadow. We abide under your shadow, O oh God. I abide under your shadow, O oh God. Mateda o saikaba rabba anda where there is safety, where there is refuge, where there is shelter, where there is health, where there is help, where there is strength. In the name of Jesus, lift up prayer, lift up prayer, lift up prayer. In the secret place of God, Makariaba, I commit my life into your hands, O God. Makataya, keep me in your secret place. Keep me in your secret place. Give me in your secret place, Mataya. Let's pray together. Let's pray together. Makatanda Yaba. Pray for yourself. Pray for your family. That God will brood over them. God will keep them in a secret place. Lift up prayer. Lift up prayer. Lift up prayer. Mantu Salihata in Goria. Rama Unta is a Ikoa. Bati Yaka. Neza Liata. That the enemy will never be able to touch you. Makatanda Yaba. They are under the wings of God. Under the wings of God. Masi Kataya. He will shield you. Makataya Baka, may the Lord protect you. Masi Kotanda, lift up prayer, lift up prayer. Makataya, Arakatandaya, I come to your secret place, O God. Mante Zaribaba Atia, out of the reach of the enemy. Robakata, walk into his secret place, walk into his secret place. Mante Salia Horia, Ranti Zahatandaya, Nimo Shelebe Horiaba. We give you praise, Lord. Father, together, we stand as your people and we enter into your secret place, the secret place of the Most High, out of the reach of the enemy, out of the reach of powers. I pray 
that when the danger is over, we can rejoice in the Lord, our God and our King. Father, hide your people. Hide your people. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. What an awesome time to be praying with you. What a joyful time that we pray together. God says if we pray, he will heal our land. Keep on praying. Don't stop praying. If you are in need of assistance during these difficult times, please don't hesitate to reach out. Please call 905-696-0050. The number again, 905-696-0050. Thank you.